Welcome to Raspberry Pi Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to write your first program in Python. Um, as far as I know, Python is going to be the default language of the Raspberry Pi. Um, and it's a good first programming language because it's interpreted, which means you can type it in a text editor, for example, and then just run it with Python and it'll work fine. And the advantages to that are that you don't have to learn how to use a lot of tools. The way I'm going to teach this is to use um, a development environment called Genie. It's very lightweight, so it's fine for the Raspberry Pi and it's going to make learning programming a bit easier. So um, to install that, you need to substitute user to root, put in your password. So you're going to type apt-get inst oh, install and you're going to need Python genie and x term as well which is just a terminal that um, genie uses um, it'll need it might need a couple of extra packages and if this is the case you just um, click yes on that so those packages are just downloading now and there we go we can uh, exit out of the terminal now and Every, oh yeah, exit out of root first and then exit out of Liam. Um, <clears throat> and the, you'll see in the start menu, there's a um, a programming category with Genie in it. So you can go to there. And this is what you'll see. Um, basically a text editor with a few extra bits. So you've got like documents. Um, and basically... Um, it's a text editor, but it highlights syntax. So you'll see what that means now. So if you go file new with template, um, main.py, and the .py stands for Python, um, it'll add all this code for you. Um, now I'm just going to delete all this apart from the top line. The purpose of the top line is just to tell the system where um, the Python interpreter is. And that's so, if you wanted to just double click on the Python file, it'd know to run Python and then load up the file. So, um, before we carry on, I'm just going to save this somewhere. I'll make a new folder called Python. And call it, um, I'll call it First Program. First Program. Okay, and the classic first program is, of course, Hello World. So I'm going to type print, um, and you'll see it's changed color there because it's a function that's recognized by Genie. We're going to put in quotation marks to say that it's a string and it's not, a, um, it's not something that we want to be run in code. It's just something that we want to be output. So if we type... Hello world and then save that. And if you click this button here, run over you the current file. You should Hello World. There you go. That's your first program in Python. Okay, so let's elaborate on Hello World a bit then. Um let's make count equals zero and then while count is less than nine then print hello world and then you put count equals count plus one and then save that. It'll print hello world. Nine times. There we go. Okay, so let's look at this code and see what it does. Um, count equals zero. What that does is that makes a new variable, which is something that can be changed while the program's running. Um, and set that to zero. And then what we're saying is while count is less than nine. And then we've got a call on there and basically any code that you write that's indented so if I if I don't do that 
Um, if I take away the indents, then that while statement won't work. But anything that's indented below the while statement is part of the while statement. And then if you carry on below here, it's no longer part of the... So if I do print um, goodbye, then that is not part of the while statement. So if we run that, we've got... Oh, I've spelled goodbye wrong, but... Um, you get the you get the picture, and um, that's all I've really got time time to uh, show you this week. But I'll go into a lot more detail next week, and we'll put together something a bit more advanced. But have a play around. Um, if you want to have a Google at some tutorials on Python, do that. But you've got the environment set up now, so you can have a little play around with it. It's quite straightforward to use. So. Thanks for watching and um, thanks for subscribing as well. I've almost got 50 subscribers, which is um, which is great. So thanks a lot and I'll see you next week. Cheers.